Hello everyone and welcome back to Blues Fans TV. I am Sophie Rose and today I thought I would do a five things we learned from our game against West City in the FA Cup. Yes, we are through to semi-finals and that is fantastic news and I want to take nothing away from the win because these can be really, really tough games, uh, especially in knockout stages, but um, I do feel there are some things that we can improve on from that game. Um, it was a wildly different game from uh, when we played City. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic about the FA Cup, but I do think in order to win, win, win the trophy, we have a fantastic record in the FA Cup. I do think there are some things that we need to improve. So I'm going to go through five things that I think we learned from the game and I'm going to see if you agree with me. Um, if not, no worries. You know, we're here, we're here to debate and disagree. So in at number one is that we do lack experience in our side. Now, obviously the FA Cup is a chance to rotate the team. Uh, Frank did that, he put Reese James in, Billy Gilmore was on the pitch, uh, Loftus-Cheek came on a little bit later in the second half. Uh, but I think if you look at the first half and how sloppy we were, you know, we did make uh, a lot of midfield errors, uh, which resulted in Leicester City really pressing forward and uh, almost getting a few goals. I think uh, Cavallero did a really good job in goal. Um, but, you know, I think he probably made a few too many changes. I understand why he did it because, you know, priority for me is that we get into top four. Um, but trophies are also important. But the FA Cup, generally, we do see some changes in the team. Um, but I think it showed when Frank made three half-time substitutions. He took off Reese James, he took off Mason and Billy Gilmore. Now, Billy Gilmore's had some really good games for Chelsea before the pandemic. Um, but again, I think you know when you need your experienced players on and I don't think Frank wanted to, to lose this game. And I think when he brought on um, Dave, Kovacic and Barkley, um, things really sort of changed. You know, although Tammy's goals uh, ruled um, offside, uh, you know, I think we did did definitely improve and um, Ross Barkley's goal sort of saved the day. It was a fantastic goal, great crossing from William. And um, I haven't seen us score a goal of actually first touch in a while. Um, feel free to comment, let me know when the last one was. Uh, but yeah, really good goal. But I think that just shows that we do need a bit of experience in the team, uh, especially in these tough times. I don't want to be too harsh on Mason because uh, one of our best chances of the first half of Pulisic, you know, he did he did put the ball into him. So um, Mason does have some really good games for us. But I do think that in this in this situation, Frank was right to make those changes and um, bring on some more experienced players. In at number two, then I'm going to discuss Ross Barkley and how I think he's a little bit underrated. Uh, I do think Ross Barkley's under underrated with Chelsea. I think a lot of fans aren't won over by him. Yes, he's had some not amazing performances in the past uh but you know without him we wouldn't have uh won the game um he had then had another chance which was a great uh save from casper schmeichel schmeichel did i get that right yeah <laughs> um casper schmeichel there we go I said it properly um but yeah you know i don't know how he saved that the ball was traveling at about 100 miles per hour it looked at from the tv anyway um but yeah you know he, i think he played really well when he came on i think he changed the dynamic of the team um he can he can widely change the dynamic of the midfield i think i think he offers a bit of pace a bit of creativity and um you know i think we need to appreciate him as a player more i think it would be a really silly thing to let go of him during the transfer window um in the lead up to next season whenever that's going to start um but aside from that you know if we're talking about the fa cup uh we need as many players as we possibly can and without him today i think we really would have struggled to get the win i'm not saying that leicester played brilliant uh, I'm just saying that I feel like you know our performance was a little bit sloppy and um, nothing compared to what I saw against City different different completely different competition but I would like to think that we take uh, that you know what we learned from how well we were playing in that game and, and try and use it in every competition so yeah I think Ross Barkley is underrated and it would be nice if people uh, just gave him a bit of a break and uh, gave him praise when it was due. Okay, in at number three then, and another important point is that I think we have a very experienced manager who knows how to make changes and, you know, he's won a few FA, Cup, FA Cups himself. Um, I think he knows what this competition means to us fans. We have a great record in it. I think he made some very quick decisions. I think it's very brave. I mean, he made all five substitutions in the game, um, but I think it's very brave to make three changes at half time. Uh, we hadn't conceded, you know, two or three goals. A lot of managers... Uh, do wait a long time before they make those sorts of changes. But I, could, I think he saw that 
we did need a bit more experience in the team. We did need to change things up. I was actually quite surprised that he put Rhys James in the starting lineup. Uh, I know it's the FA Cup and that might not surprise a lot of you, uh, but I don't think it was when he came on as a sub in the Premier League for his first game back uh, that he did well. I think he lost the ball a couple of times and nearly cost the game there. Um, so I was just surprised that he put him in um, and I'm glad that he brought on Aspilicueta because we do need... Um, you know, one of our strong, well, our strongest defender, in my opinion, um, at the back, if we're going to try and get through to the final in this competition. So I hope that's something that he's learned. But yeah, I think Frank is definitely the manager to take us to win this trophy. I know, I don't think we've had the best season overall. It would be lovely to round this off with a trophy. And I don't think we could do that uh, without the likes of Frank Lampard. In at number four then, and quite a worrying point for me, is Pulisic. Uh, he did come off... Uh, I think that was sort of precautionary uh, from Frank Lampard towards the end. Um, he did seem to have something wrong with his calf. I'm not sure now. I mean, he's been on Instagram and said, you know, on to the next round, he seems in good spirits. I hope it's really nothing serious. Uh, I think they put a little bit of ice on, on his leg when he when he came off. Um, but it's vital that Pulisic stays fit in all competitions for us, and especially in the Premier League. We, don't, we really don't want him uh, to get injured. Uh, during any FA Cup game, any, any Premier League game. Uh, he wasn't favoured at the start when he came to Chelsea. It took him a while to get himself back into the first team. And, you know, he had the best chance of the game in the first half, um, undoubtedly, which was obviously, like I said, a great save from the Leicester keeper. Uh, so we really don't want a player like that going off uh, injured. Uh, we want to keep him as fit as possible. Uh, you know, his performance against City was so good. Uh, and then to have this little bit of worry uh, in our FA Cup match uh, does scare me a little bit. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's nothing serious. Uh, we will keep you up to date with that one later on this week. Uh, he didn't limp off or anything. I think he just uh, probably stretched a muscle somewhere along the way. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you up to date with that. But it's vital, vital that Pulisic stays fit. Uh, we really, really need him uh, for these last games coming towards the end of the season. And if we have any chance of winning the FA Cup. Um, I think he'll be vital in us bringing home the trophy. Number five then, and my last point I wanna make is I really want us to be more dominant in games. Um, I think we saw that against City for the first time and I'm, I'm a bit confused as to why we couldn't take that um, to the FA Cup game. I think we have more than enough talent in the squad. Yes, we need some reinforcements, which we've already seen us make. A couple of signings, which I'm really you know, looking forward to next season, but our energy and our focus needs to be on this season and hopefully winning a trophy and getting top four. You know, there, there are two main priorities. Uh, I understand the players are tired. I understand that Frank wanted to make some changes in this game. Uh, but I just, I just think we need to be more dominant. You know, I think if you look at the two games, despite the fact that they're completely different competitions, uh, it, to me, it looked a little bit like two different Chelsea's. Uh, all Bar Pulis issue, I think, was, was playing uh, well. Um, I do think that we really could have won this game a lot more than just scraping by by a 1-0 from a substitute, Ross Barkley. You know, I do think that we really, really should have sealed the game off in the first half. Leicester are a good team. Um, but, you know, they had some faults there and they didn't have Madison playing. I think he's one of their best players. Uh, I really do think that we we could have won this game. You know, the, the, the fans aren't in the crowd. You know, normally, I think for Leicester, um, if they'd had the fans in the crowd in that game, I think towards the last sort of five, ten minutes, um, that would have given them a boost and maybe we wouldn't have made it through. Um, that's just my opinion. I think fans have a massive impact um, on football, on football games. And, um, you know, it's a shame that we can't be at the ground, but hopefully we'll be back soon. But yeah, we just need more dominant, but dominant, believe in ourselves a bit more. Uh, we saw that from Ross Barkley. It would have been lovely if we'd seen that from a couple of the other players, especially in the first half. You know, we made so many uh, little errors and mistakes that we really shouldn't have made. Uh, and, you know, I don't know whether that comes from just having a bit of a team talk with Frank, uh, like Frank and Dave did in the City game. Um, especially for the youngsters as well, I think, you know, they need to believe that they can go on uh, and win these games. Okay, knockout stages are a little bit more nerve wracking, I suppose. Um, but, you know, we have a fantastic record in the FA Cup. Frank obviously felt com confident enough to put the likes of Reese James and Billy Gilmore in the team. Uh, Billy's been playing well. It's a shame, I think, that he had to come off at half time. Uh, but Frank had to make a very good decision earlier, um, a very tough decision earlier on, and he made it. And we, we, I think it was definitely the right one. Uh, we managed to get the win. But yeah, just being a bit more dominant in front of goal, not giving away, um, you know, not making silly mistakes in the midfield that, you know, result in, in Leicester putting a lot of pressure on us. 
Uh, I think, you know, that would that would help us going forward. Uh, I did want to do this video today on five reasons why we'll win the FA Cup, um, but I don't think it was on our best, best performances. So I don't think it's fair to do that. Um, but I hope in the next stage that, that we that we show the quality we have in the team because I didn't see that today. I saw that against City in the Prem and I really want us to, to display that in every game we play, uh, regardless of how many changes Frank makes in the team. So yeah, more dominant is my is my last is my last point. And I hope you'll agree with that. Uh, comment below and let me know what you thought. If you love this video, please click subscribe button. Uh, any valid points you think I made, anything that you think I missed out, please comment on that. Um, but yeah, we're through and uh, now we can now we can celebrate a little bit more, a bit of relief. Uh, you know, it's always great when you get a win out of a not so great performance. Uh, and, you know, I'm thrilled for Frank Lampard and his staff because I think if there's any manager that can win us a trophy this season, bear in mind we've been, you know, sort of all over the place and we didn't expect that we would even uh, be at this stage, especially in the Premier League, I think is fantastic. So uh, well done, Frank, and can't wait for the next round. Thank you.